everybody i want to do my first what sold video i've never done one of these and i thought it would be a good time to start when i've got just a little bit of sales and the reason i want to do this is because i watch other people's videos and i learn a lot about other things that sell that i don't know i hope the same thing would apply to you so i haven't had a whole lot going on this winter it's been pretty bad for me i've had a struggling time i haven't seen a lot of people talk about how bad their sales are other than it's just slow on youtube i've seen people saying i've sold thousands of dollars Here's a real life story of somebody who's had a hard time over the winter. And there's several factors of that. One, I went really big into clothes and a lot of my money was tied up into something that, for me that sells slower. I'm not that aware of all brands. I'm not a clothing person. I just don't care about it, but I see a lot of people making money off clothing. So I wanted to expand into it. So I went really hard into clothes. I only went thrifting three or four times in two months. Um, I didn't list a lot of my bigger inventory. Lots of times when I get slow, I hold, I always have something big held back just in case. And I like my savings. And I've had to pull out two of those big ones to pull me through this past uh, couple months. And also I made a really big purchase of toys that I really paid over what I should have. I was trying to help a friend out and I paid too much and that was a valuable lesson. So all that combined together gave me a pretty slow winter and I cannot wait for yard sales so I can start getting back into the normal reseller me where I'm just left and right selling things. But let's end all this chat and get a look at what I have sold the past day. One of these clothing items I have sold is this Nike Tiger Woods golf polo. I have noticed from the past when I find men's clothing, I find a lot of golf polos. There's a lot of Nike dry fit that I believe is just flooding the market that you'll get but someone else has something for a similar price and you start undercutting. So Nike dry fit golf, a good item, but I think you need a, an extra characteristic about it, like your shapes or designs, the pattern makes a good sale. But here in this one, it's Tiger Woods. So I sold it for $24.95 plus free shipping. They didn't ask for a best offer, so I took full price. Grossing maybe about 12 or $13 on this one. Next example of what I was talking about, this is a Nike golf dry fit, but the checkered pattern or kind of a Harlequin-ish kind of pattern. I didn't really know exactly what to call this one, but because of the pattern, I think it sold quickly. There was one I got with it that sold, I think within 30 minutes of me listing it, just a striped, striped pattern. So this one I took $20 free shipping and the question comes up, should I give free shipping or not? Well, what's best for you? That's that's the answer. There's no one way to ship. For me, I'm really just testing and I'm offering free shipping on a lot of my items. I know it cuts into profit, but I know my profit margin. And if it three times my money, two times my money, I'm, I'm okay with that. So you need to take a look at how much you have invested and what you can get out of it. And that's how you decide if you're gonna do free shipping or not. If I would have priced this with shipping, it probably would have sold slower because shipping has gone up, those price hikes are getting pretty killer. And things priced like this in the market, they were selling, but not too fast. So had I added shipping to this, I think I would probably still be sitting on it. Next, I've got this Office Depot open box 1.44 megabyte floppy disks. Don't sleep on old technology. I got this in a box of free stuff. I, instead of just throwing it away, I figured I'd put it up and see what people were, were selling it for. And sure enough, it's an easy $5 after it's all said and done. It paid $7.70 shipping for this. It weighed one pound, so I was able to get first class. But look at that, first class for $7.70. It's just going to New York. Shipping is getting so much more expensive. I'm surprised they bought this. There was other deals with that I saw listed that had more floppies in it, but I'm happy this sold. It had 19 in there out of 25, I believe, was the box. So it wasn't missing many, but it wasn't a full box like I'd seen other sales. I'll take it. Next, I've got this Cat and Jack Toddler 3T three-piece outfit. Now, this came from a Wholesale Ninjas lot that I purchased last summer, and I was not thrilled at all with what I got for what I paid. And I'll tell you the story of that later. But the clothes I got in that lot were so low-priced, and people had already had them listed. There was hardly any way to make any money. But my price per item was about $2 and, I believe, 12 cents. So with this, I made it $12.99 free shipping, and I had about 36 of them. And before Christmas, I was selling things, these things every day. This was the last one I had found, so it's gone. I made about $7 from it. 
and I'm, I'm glad to see that stuff gone. It was not a fun experience. Now these, gosh, these two Jack Daniels hats, I believe I got both of these for free and just extra lots of things I had purchased from yard sales or estate sales. I've had, I think I had one hat for $9.99 free shipping, and then I came across another one. I figured I'd bundle them. I got $13.99. I was running a sale on some of my older inventory, 30% off. So this finally sold for $13.99. Hats will sell. It depends on what brand you get. And I would say vintage is better. And the hat on the left-hand side is a vintage design. I had studied on some Jack branding one time, and I saw there's an old hat or an old design of this hat that goes for pretty good money. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh, this is easy money here. But I found out it's actually a promo hat that's newer. So it didn't sell until now, and it took about a year. So I'm so glad to see these things gone. This is a pair of vintage. It's older. I don't say vintage. Vintage is too thrown around. Uh, older Harley Davidson shovel head caps. Shovel head is a... a uh, I believe it's an engine design for Harley. I'm not too big on my Harley stuff, but if you put Harley and leather together, you're going to have eyes. I had $199 on this and best offer, but nobody asked for a best offer. I definitely took it. Had they purchased it on Mercari, I had dropped the price about $30. They could have got a better deal there, but I'm not complaining. $199 plus $13.69 shipping. It's a good deal. Next, I've got this Star Wars display piece it's from a movie theater i actually worked at so this is actually mine i didn't buy it anywhere i've had this since 1997 when i worked at this neat, this movie theater and at the time when the special edition movies were coming through everybody wanted every type of display piece everyone who worked there was was bidding on things and the manager had to do raffles so all these people who worked there got all this good stuff and i'm like i'm empty-handed i'm actually the star wars geek here can i have something and they let me have this. It was a display that went behind a concession to sell the, the cups. And I've had this, like I said, ever since 97. And I was a big signage collector for a while. But then Star Wars just kind of was like, eh, I don't really care. And I'm not a hoarder or, or anyone who keeps things like this for a long, long time. It's time to part with it. I was asking $99 because I found no comps or anything like it. It was the only one to like it out there. And... Someone asked to get it for 50 bucks. I said, sure, definitely more than I paid for it because I paid nothing. And uh, time's been kind of hard, so I definitely took that 50, 50 bucks, and I'm happy with it. So on, on when it comes to displays, not everything movie display, not everything movie poster is going to be worth something because there's so many movies out there. Go for your legacy brands, your horror brands, your Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, your big name brands like that, if you find something, are probably going to be worth more. Definitely older is the better. And when it comes to newer movies, it just depends on the popularity. And um, Star Wars, of course, is going to attract a lot of eyes. As you're out there and you find movie items, realize not everything is going to sell uh, as well as others. So just be picky and I'd say buy the best. My last item is this Dixon flannel. If you've never heard of Dixon, uh, check that out. It's a wildly popular not sure how new or old they are. A uh, wildly popular flannel brand, uh, DixonQuality.com, I believe is the website. And they do kind of like timed releases and one of those things that people wait in line for and things sell out. And you can possibly flip kind of like Supreme. So I got this around Christmas and I paid $49 for this, $49 or $59. So all in all, it's about $20 profit. But all it was was a simple purchase list and wait to sell. For the new resellers out there who want to do this full time, I would say do this a year first. Don't go jumping in head first without understanding how slow it can be like in the past in the winter for me and in the summertime. Those two times can get really hairy if you're not well versed in sourcing, you don't know what to buy, you might get into trouble. This experience for me going through the winter time and not having a lot of sales has made me think about what I need to source and how I need to source. I definitely am going to look into more of wholesale Definitely not Wholesale Ninjas again. I did not like that experience at all. But there's a lot out there. And when you have someone that can send you inventory where you don't have to go search for it, it can help things out a lot. Thanks for joining me again. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. I would appreciate it so much. You guys stay safe and have a great flipping day.